these are all the taxi men here. Monkey Temple. Well, we're halfway up to the Monkey Temple and there's still a lot, a lot of steps to go. So this is Kathmandu. It's all a bit busy. There's a lot of wires going on here. So what's in the breakfast box then, Nessie? A bit of dry bread. I mean, it is, but it's not, not, not here. <laughs> a weenie banana, which actually was very nice. A boiled egg. Yeah. And I'm not sure what this is. Oh. Oh, it might be a bit of a cake or something. Oh, a, no. a pastry. No. Bacon rind. <laughs> Let's hope you see your bag the other side. or a half kilometre, we get little tea houses. Mm. Not that we're stopping them. No. <laughs> the prayer wheels are going round. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> oh, tired, cold, headachey. But that's all right. I can barely breathe as well. <laughs> <laughs> and what happened last night, Ro? Um, Somebody locked our door from the outside. I got yeah. to go to the toilet, <laughs> desperate. You know, by the time you get out your sleeping bag to go to the toilet, you know you're desperate because it is so cold. <laughs> Fumbled with a lot and the door wouldn't open. So I had to resort to peeing in a bucket. <laughs> Don't show them that. <laughs> but you're enjoying it apart from that oh god oh dear you just reminded me we've only got three days left to go <laughs> and that that's with cheating yeah that is with cheating the others have got a week to go yeah that is oh dear it reminds me of have you stopped it no it reminds me of when I speak to you on one of your adventures and you go I say how are you and you go Oh, it's so hard. And, and then you're almost tearful and everything like that. And then when somebody asks you when you get back, you go, it was great. It was great. <laughs> Maybe I'll say next week, I'll go, it was great. <laughs> Loved every minute of it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Oh, 
How's it going, Nessie? It's tough this morning. I found it tough. It's hot, some steep climbing, continuous climbing. The sun is baking. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. It's 20, 20 to 8, and we finally hit the sun, which is good news because it's definitely well into the minuses. It's extremely cold and an altitude of 5,100 about. It's, uh, the air is pretty thin. So frequent stops are required. I think this might be base camp. Oh man, I've looked forward to coming here for uh, not that many years, five, six, seven years. I've read all the books, whoops, and I've nearly fallen over just at the last moment. I should take it easy, but I'm excited. Climbing <laughs> 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 glow has started. It's about five o'clock in the morning. So this is Everest and there is the uh, Kumba Icefall coming down there, all the way down there. What a great view from up here. All the way down there. It's amazing. God, it looks like the Matterhorn over there. Is that the Matterhorn, do you think? Yeah. Oh man, it's really hard. I don't know if it's the altitude or overexertion yesterday, because it was quite a big day yesterday. Oh, this is hard. We've made it, guys. We made it. Yay. 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 We did. Congratulations. That was proper hard. Oh man, and it's, what time is it? It is 25 past 6, and the sun isn't quite up yet. It's the top of Everest now. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, this is so cold. Walked up 360, 380 meters. See Everest. She's there somewhere. There she is. Oh, but it's so cold. And the the uh, camelback that I had brought with me, full of water, it's just frozen all the way. So I brought a half tub, half a bottle of water, and that's frozen as well. This is the sign we missed on the way up because it was just too cold and too early in the morning. But that's where we've just been. Just arriving back at Gorish Ship. Correct, Shep. It's a quarter to eight and we left at quarter past four. So what's that, three and a half hours? Oh, I tell you, that was hard. How are you, Ray? That was hard. That was seriously hard. I had to stop every two minutes on the way up. Terry, Terry, he was gone. Was he? Oh, only six years older than me. Oh, but the views were... Good. I'm glad I did it, but that was hard. This is Gorak Shep, which we're leaving by helicopter, I hope, soon.
waiting to be washed when it's been washed. And the carnation 